Welcome back everyone. My name is Pertesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you another video. So here today I'm going to be sharing with you some tools and resources that you can use if you're interested in learning how to start staking ADA. So when we see Shelly on mainnet here very shortly, people who are holding the ADA token will begin to delegate their holdings to a stake pool. So in this video, I wanted to share with you my thoughts and how you can choose a stake pool and get the best returns possible. So all of that is here in this video, so stay tuned. everyone thank you so much for joining me here today I hope you guys are all doing well so let's go ahead and jump right in the first website that I wanted to share with you is going to be adapools.org this is going to be one of my favorite websites for finding information related to different metrics for stake pools so all the websites that we're gonna be talking about is gonna be linked in the description below if you guys do want to check them out there's gonna be one more website that we're gonna be discussing at the later part of this video but as far as adapools.org, lots of information here found on the website. This is the main dashboard. What we're looking at here, the information that it shows is the current epoch. It shows you the slot and it shows you the number of slots in that specific epoch. If you do decide on supporting this website, they've got some really great options here to be able to donate to the developers. I'm sure that that helps out tremendously with the amount of work that they put into this website. If we scroll down further, we can see the different lists of stake pools and there are certain metrics that they're calculated by. So I wanted to talk about all of that here in this video. And then another thing here, if we look on the left side of this website, we've also got these tabs so we can see some other things available in terms of slot battles. We can see they've also got charts available so you can actually see a visualized representation of these metrics. So lots of cool things to take a look at. If you are interested in learning how to delegate your ADA, once we see Shelly on mainnet, I definitely recommend checking out this website. One thing I wanted to share with you here, this tab actually shows you where to delegate. So if you're interested in finding the highest return on ADA possible without having to go through the process of researching the various stake pools, and if you just want to set and forget your ADA, so to speak, where you choose a stake pool and you just let it do its thing, this is a great option if you're just interested in finding a stake pool and delegating and then not having to worry about it. So this is another good option here. There's lots of good names that uh, I can trust and I can vouch for here. Uh, we see Digital Fortress, you know, Rick with uh, the Cardano Effect podcast. We see Kiwi Pool, my friend Kiwi. Shout out to you, man. Hope you're doing well. And I also saw my friend, the Duck Pool. Duck Pool is a really cool guy. He does great work for the community. So lots of these stake pool operators are doing good things, you know, great, uh, reputable brands that you can get a decent return on investment. So you can see most of these are averaging more than 10%, which is really good. So that's something to keep in mind if you're interested in not having to worry about doing a whole bunch of research. This is a great option for you. But going back to the main dashboard here, let's go ahead and take a look at these metrics. So I wanna share with you all what these mean and what I like to look for. So this list shows you the stake pools and it gives you their respective metrics. Now, what we're looking at here, if I were to be delegating ADA, right? So I'm gonna put myself in the position of somebody who is figuring out what all this means. So if I'm gonna be looking at finding a stake pool to delegate ADA, the two things that I wanna look for are gonna be a low tax and a high return on ADA. So I want the lowest possible fee for being able to delegate to that stake pool and I wanna get the maximum returns on my investment. So that's what I'm looking for in a nutshell. And in order to find that, you can see here we've got the tax columns up here, right? So you see the fixed amount. So many stake pools can charge a set amount in ADA at the end of each epoch that will be taken out of the rewards for the entire stake pool. So that's what this is. And then we've got the percentage tax. So I like to look for that low tax percentage here. As you can see, all these are 0% tax, so you can organize them by clicking on this tab. So you just have to click on it and it'll show you, uh, you know, you can have the lowest or the highest. In this instance, 100% tax is what we're looking at here. And then you've got 0% tax. So you can click on this tab and that'll organize those uh, stake pools based on the metrics. 
So now, as far as low tax, uh, 0% is cool. I think that's a good option. However, keep in mind that there may or may not be a conflict of interest there with running that stake pool. You know, for me personally, I think that running a stake pool with zero tax is going to be in the long run, I'm just my opinion, in the long run, it's going to provide very little incentive for the stake pool to operate in the long term. You know, right now we're on a test net. So I think that it's reasonable to see the amount of stake pools that we do with a 0% tax. But just keep that in mind, you know, what incentive do these stake pool operators have for maintaining the network and providing the best rewards if they're at a 0% tax? So just something to think about. And if we take a look at the return on ADA, so ROA is return on ADA, you'll oftentimes hear it referred to ROA or ROS. ROS stands for return on stake. Uh, same thing, essentially. But what we're looking at here, this is going to be the percentage of the returns that this stake pool has been generating. So, you know, just take it for what you will. You can kind of organize these different stake pools and see what it is that you're looking at and who you choose to delegate to. Another thing as well, since we've organized these different metrics here, is going to be blocks per epoch. So the number of blocks that the stake pool generates typically means a higher return for delegators. So the more blocks that the stake pool generates, the more returns that you're going to see on your investment. And we can see that here if we look at something like Let's Bake, right? Let's Bake is minting about 44 blocks per epoch, 0% tax, and it's got a pretty nice return on ADA, over 10%. But one thing to keep in mind here, as we're looking at these different stake pools, we can see that this stake pool is at a point where it's almost saturated. So that's what this is, pool size. We wanna make sure that the pool size is not to a point where it's overly saturated. After a point in time when a stake pool becomes saturated, the rewards will begin to diminish. So that's another thing to keep in mind as well. We can see that a lot of these smaller stake pools are typically providing a higher return. Granted, there are fewer blocks being minted, but as we can see here, this one is turning out about 11%. And this one also about 10%. This one's also doing about 11%. This one here, Mama Pool, 20%. And we can see that that is because there is a lower pool size. So there's less ADA that's delegated to that stake pool. When this stake pool mints a block, fewer people are going to share the spoils of those rewards, so they're going to have a greater return. So that's essentially the thought process behind it. You want to just make sure that you're not delegating to a oversaturated stake pool. All right, so that is some of the key things that we're looking at here for being able to find a stake pool. You guys can play around with all these different metrics. Just go ahead and click on these tabs up at the top, and you'll be able to change all these different metrics based on the parameters that you're looking for. And then lots of cool things also on the website regarding slot battles. You can see all the smaller stake pools out there. Um, there's a whole bunch of different things. You can look at the charts. You can see you know, a visual representation of what it is that you're looking at in terms of who is delegating to certain stake pools. So really nice to be able to see all these cool things that this website shows you. So that's pretty much it for adapools.org. The next website that I want to show you is going to be PoolTool. So PoolTool.io is an invaluable resource if you are interested in the similar things that we talked about here with Adapools. This actually gives a few more insights. If you are running a stake pool, I think that this website is going to be your best friend. I think it's just incredible with the amount of detail that they've put into this website. So now this shows us that the current amount staked again guys this is on a test net currently based on a 31 billion supply 41 percent of the uh, ada supply is staked and then we can see here the cumulative rewards distributed we can see here also the number of active pools so there's lots of information on this website as well if we click up at this top bar here where we can see the three lines we're going to see this menu that gives us a few more options to look at. So we can explore different pools. We can see competitive forks, network health. You can actually take a look at a certain address if you have a specific one that you wanna look for. Lots of cool things here on this website as well. Just wanted to show you our specific stake pool. I'm gonna show you Kaizen stake pool, just so that way you guys can get an idea of what it is that we're doing with our stake pool. So with this website, we got a few different things to take a look at here, namely up at the top, we get the description of the stake pool, just taking a look and seeing an overview of what this 
is all about. And then we've got these metrics here. We can see the current live stake, the current stake, epoch blocks, lifetime blocks, lifetime return on stake. We're actually doing pretty good, 10%, over 10%. Not bad. I, I really think that that's reasonable. Hoping to do much better when we do see Shelly on mainnet. Hopefully we can get this live stake boosted up with the support from the community. We're currently running on a zero fixed fee and a 2% variable fee fee structure. So we are trying to keep the fees as low as possible to maintain the highest rewards for our delegators. And then if we scroll down, we can see this visual representation that shows you the trend of performance. So this red bar is gonna show you the return on stake. And then you can see here this blue line is the amount of stake that's delegated to the stake pool. And then the green line is the 10 epoch trend. So it's kind of like a moving average. So very nice to see all these different things that we're looking at here. You can see the epoch as well. It's really awesome, I think, as a stake pool operator to be able to have consistent returns. You know, I would say that for a smaller stake pool, it's really nice to be able to deliver consistent returns for our delegators. If we scroll down here, we can see historical results. This will show you the listed epoch. We can see the number of blocks that we minted during that epoch, and then the percentage of the blocks based on the total for that epoch. And then we've got the amount of stake that's delegated and that percentage based on the supply that's available. Here are the rewards for all of our delegators. And this is what the stake pool has earned in form of tax. And this is our return on stake. So guys, that is what we're looking at here with Pool Tool. Lots of cool things here. Go ahead and check out this website as well. Link is gonna be down in the description if you're interested in supporting us. And if you wanted to delegate to our stake pool, look out for videos teaching you how to do that here coming up very soon. I wanna keep you guys informed with all of the ADA and Cardano news and processes for delegating, staking. If you're interested in starting a stake pool, all of that is gonna be here on this YouTube channel. So you guys definitely wanna hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for future content. So that is what I have for you guys here in this video. If you do have any questions regarding any of the topics that we discussed, let me know down in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Let's go ahead and start a conversation. Hopefully members in the community can come in and we can bounce some ideas off each other. So that is what I have for you guys here today. I do hope that you enjoyed it and that you did find some value. Again, guys, drop a like for me if you could on your way out and I will see you in the next video. Take care.